Now, the plans to revitalize the newspaper of note for the United States' second largest city, the Los Angeles Times. Patrick Soon Shong is a multi billionaire surgeon, entrepreneur, and part owner of the LA Lakers. He spent half a billion dollars to buy the paper, which has faced big setbacks in recent years. As critical as it has been to the city of Los Angeles, the LA Times has struggled with huge financial losses. Two thirds of the staff laid off over time. Three top editors replaced in 18 months, and there have been multiple publishers. Soon Shang is also an immigrant born to parents who had fled China during the occupation by Japan during World War II. And he joins me now from Los Angeles. Patrick Soon Shang, congratulations. And uh, you're investing in a newspaper at a time when fewer and fewer people are reading them. Why? Well, I think it's so important for democracy, it's so important for education, it's important for this country, and it's an institution that I think we need to protect. And uh, to me, um, I grew up in apartheid South Africa, and the only thing that was my respite was the newspaper, frankly. And, you know, and you and I had a little bit of a conversation about this not long ago when we talked. What is it about journalism today that you think you can make thrive? Because we look across the country, newspapers are struggling, people are moving to digital. What is your dream here? Well, the first thing is there's a fundamental need of this issue of truthful news, right? I think that truly, the, and as I said in my letter, I think fake news is a cancer of our times. And frankly, um, the social media allows this proliferation of metastasis. I think the, the place where we need to find truthful information and journalistic integrity is in the newspapers. But I think we also recognize that we have this problem of where technology is now taken over, where people want news, where they want to read it, where they can read it, whenever, wherever they may be, and the digital mobile platform. I, I still uh, am of the old school. I still, as I said, love the tactile feel of a physical print and what I call leisurely reading. Um, but we need to adapt and adopt very quickly in real time into this whole new world of the digital age. So today, I think journalists need to have cross-technology uh, skill sets. They need to podcast. They need to do what I'm doing here, TV interviews uh, and, and print. Um, and um, it's a very different life for the journalists. But without journalists uh, giving us good, uh, real uh, investigative reporting, I think we will last a lot um, in terms of uh, this institution. Do you think you can do this and be profitable? Uh, after all, it's a business. No, it is a business. And I said, this is not a philanthropic exercise. This is not an exercise of vanity. This is an exercise where this business has to now, as an institution, survive. Uh, the New York Times and the Washington Post have shown, in fact, if they create great, important stories uh, with great journalists, uh, they can adopt, and we must. And so the answer is, I'm hopeful. Um, we uh, are not concerned or scared of technology. Part of my work in cancer, doing genomic sequencing and cloud computing and machine vision and artificial intelligence, I think we can bring all of this to bear and still create a, a model that thrives. And you're working with a newsroom that has been, that has lost, as we said, what, uh, a large percentage of its staff, uh, of its reporters. Uh, you're dealing with a place that's been traumatized virtually in recent years. What's it going to take to turn that around? You know, I speak to my uh, newsroom and I said, this is like a battered child syndrome, right? I, I completely get that. They have been traumatized. So the first thing we did was yesterday we announced Norm Pilstein um, as the executive editor. The day next, we uh, Chris Wieselman, who's come in um, as the uh, transformation editor. I think the idea is to actually strengthen the newsroom. The, the journalists are lifeblood. So uh, this is the first time they will have stability. This is not a one-year program, 10-year program. I see this as a a lifelong program for us to really create stability. So I think uh, if we actually be able to track the best talent, um, and the California is a unique um, ecosystem to itself, we'll be able to do fine.
you do come to this, Patrick Soon Shong, uh, as someone who didn't come out of journalism, and you said yourself, your your investments have been in. You're a physician. Your investments have been in healthcare and pharmaceuticals. Uh, the L.A. Times itself has written a story about you earlier this year. Controversies in your business career. Uh, were they accurate in those stories? And do you think your background is a fit for this? Well, first of all, um, that's one of the first thing I told the LA Times the newsroom. They should feel free to write anything and everything about me, completely independent of me as the owner, as long as it's fair and truthful. I think that should be the standard for anybody. Uh, fairness, honesty, uh, and truthfulness is all any, any person could ask for. But with regard to my background, I look upon journalists very much like scientists. They love discovery. We love discovery. We love the truth. We want to find the, 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 the basis of the truth, and we love publishing. Um, so <laughs> while my background has been in discovery, working with scientists and physician scientists, I look upon journalists uh, as such. Um, if we're going to do opinions, however, we should very, very clearly say this is an opinion. And everybody should be allowed to have the opinion, whether it be right opinion, left opinion, or middle road opinion. So I think um, the opportunity for us now to create an educational forum, a forum that will inspire, a forum that will inform, and a forum that will provide um, entertainment, so to speak, even uh, sports, uh, arts, lifestyle. So I'm really excited. I, I, uh, it's a steep learning curve for me, but I'm, I'm really excited about this next episode of what I'm going to be doing. Dr. Patrick Soon Shong, the new owner of the Los Angeles Times and the San Diego Union. Again, congratulations. Thank you so much, Judy.